All right, here we go. Uh, let's have a little bit of look at the... Oh, first of all, I need to make sure I'm capturing the right thing. Sorry. Perfect. Um, yeah, well, in a in a second, I'll have a look at the uh, the format. Structure. Here we go. Three minute blind levels. Yeah. So this is this is pretty rapid. At the moment, sixty one entries. Five top five get a ticket to the Sunday Million. That's where we're at at the moment. But it is a rebuy. That will all change. It's only a rebuy for the first thirty minutes. Ha! Oh, I quite like that hand, but uh, too early at the table to play it. Alas. There's an add-on. I wonder if I could use a ticket as the add-on. Oh, but the add-on's only the same amount of chips. So hopefully, hopefully no add-on. We're not getting very good value on it. Normally, the add-on is like <laughs> two and a half, three times the, the chip stack. I've seen like five times the starting chip stack for add-ons before. But it is a very quick after the start of the tournament add-on. All right, king nine off in the big blind. Could be worse. Could be better, could be worse. <laughs> and we're back. Hey, Ode. <laughs> nice to see you again. We didn't actually drop too many viewers. That's nice. We we dropped a few from Blood Bowl to Rocket League, as you might expect. We didn't drop too many more. Nice to see the flop with King Nine. Unfortunately, we do completely miss. And we get another free card, which is, again, a complete miss. And this time, surely, you'd think one of the lim limpers would at least represent the ace. And they both do. And we're gone. And they both had it. <laughs> Uh, we're getting a really nice price on our 25 top-up from the small blind. And we hit a, a gut shot. Straight draw. But it'd be fairly well disguised. It would be beaten by a 9-10. We'd have to hope that isn't out there. Not super likely. Also, the 7 of diamonds would be a little risky. An absolute micro bet. It's probably about the right price to go after our gut shot. And uh, and there's the chat raise, and that's us done with the hand. Wow, lots of uh, lots of action. Here comes the pain, <laughs> probably. <laughs> For us, right? We're, we're not the pain. <laughs> the pain is being delivered to our door. Oh, my word. I'm looking for the jack six, but why were you in that? Doesn't rebuy. Bit of a rubbish uh, button holding for us here. Don't even particularly want to try and limp it. No, no. Just going to let that one go. We've seen how loose the table is so far. So, after the break in 20 minutes time, that's when the rebuys end. Things get a bit more interesting.
Would have just hit middles pair. Rubbish kicker. <laughs> Lots of straights <laughs> out there. <laughs> and a flush draw. And somebody is pretty happy with their hand. I know, right, SCP? When, when does that happen in poker? Never in the movies, that's for sure. Wow, there, there really is a lot of action on these uh, flops. We flop middle pair again. Again, we'd be long out of it by now, though, even if we'd gone in. Check raising. Um, I, I guess as with most things, there's there's definitely a time and a place for it. Like pe people, I don't think it was ever a bad thing, right? People have always been prone to continuation betting because that is quite a strong play. But as a result, check raising can often be the, the correct play. Particularly on flops. Check raising could be correct on the turn as well if the board's got a bit more drawy, but you're fairly certain they're going to fire the second barrel. We keep uh, keep connecting with our tens. <laughs> we keep getting dealt raggy tens, and we keep hitting middle pair. And none of the times did it look any good. What we'd give for a rush of hands against these opponents. Some serious loose play going on. And the flush draw doesn't come in. Oh, it's a split! No, was was it a split or was there like a was there a side part? There was a side part. I was gonna say there was no way that was a split. I just saw the two parts go. I missed that uh, somebody had gone all in earlier. That makes more sense. Okay, not great cards, but at least suited cards to defend our big blind. <laughs> Zedok. <laughs> I don't think we'll be defending our big blind, sadly. <laughs> if this is a, a, a bounty satellite, which literally couldn't exist. If this was a bounty tournament, oh my word. We're getting really interesting value to have a look here. Maybe if that was a five, so we could get some like gut shot straight draws with our two cards as well. I might consider that. But I'm glad I didn't because uh, we completely missed. Blinds are now 2-4. My word. This is uh, this is rapid. <laughs> this is rapid. Hyper Turbo is right accurate. Are we even going to make it to the break? 
We're going to need a hand at some point. Well, we can also push when it folds around to us. Not that they're going to fold. Yeah, that's us out of another hand. <laughs> I think we've we've voluntarily put in a 25 top up of our <laughs> small blind so far. <laughs> Blinds have gone from 2550 to 200 400 in this tiny tiny fraction of time. Nothing again. <laughs> now then, now then, store. How you doing, mate? I don't think I've I've seen you online since uh, I I met you at the pub. <laughs> Hope you've been keeping well. Uh, yeah, great question, Doctor Hellboy. So um, I made about uh, three dollars fifty off cashing um, once you take out my buy-in, and then. Overall, including the bounties and that, I made about $20. Yeah, I made about $20. I made, give or take, $17 off the bounties. Which, you know, for a 50 cent satellite <laughs> is, is pretty good. <laughs> so hard to like be like, no, I can't play Connected Suited. But I just can't play Connected Suited. This table is so loose. Yeah, I like Turbo as well, Zetok. It it is a shame. Like I can live with I can live with Hyper, but it it's it feels more genuinely poker at slightly slower speeds. <laughs> Man, that was that's a slightly playable flop for us there. Say we'd raised this and taken some of these out. Well, we wouldn't have been happy with this now. Oh, it's five seats guaranteed. I was wondering why it was sticking at five entries. It's five seats guaranteed. That might end up being quite good value here. So five seats guaranteed is like a, a $550 prize pool. And right now there's 86 entrants at $5. So yeah, unless it gets to like 110 entries or something where... And it might well do with rebuys as well. It's on like 91 with rebuys. And there'll be top-ups, yeah. No, it, it, it will creep over that. But they've, they've priced it about right. The swines, they're pretty good at that. You so rarely get extra value. Uh, we got to see a flop with our big blind. Always nice. Uh, we did completely miss. <laughs> and again. Could have found an open-ended straight draw or a pair of nines or even sixes. We might have been interested, but uh, we, we totally missed the turn. Yeah, thanks, Hellboy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm, I'm, honestly, I had real, real fun doing it, and I was, I was pretty pleased with the result. Lots of vaccinations. Fair play, Store. Fair play. Ace in the small blind is interesting if it folds round. <laughs> Thulian with uh, Stor's face. Ah, <laughs> Ode. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed it. <laughs> We're just trying to find uh, half a decent couple of cards in our hand. Very tempted to shove this. Yeah. At some point, we've got to. Got to make a play. 
Very, very loose player here has been calling almost half the hands. Button call is a lot easier after the initial limp. And this is a, a very big pot for us. And we take it down. And we're now over our start stack, just like that. And we pick up another ace. Not that we want to make uh, too similar a play to that again. Oh, yeah, I, I love suited connectors. Like, yesterday in the much slower tournament, I was playing them all over the place and one gappers and two gappers and everything. But but already, the big blinds are such a large portion of our stack that uh, these hyper-turbos aren't really the place for, for suited connectors, sadly, until you get completely dashed. And, and except for, like, right at the start immediately, <laughs> and which goes incredibly fast, and then um, and then later on when you're totally desperate. And you're looking for any excuse to shove. <laughs> but we're in the awkward middle ground where suit connectors don't like to live. All right, 15 minutes in, 10 minutes to break. Blinds are 400, 800. I, oh my goodness, I just can't get over the blind raises. Ace 8 suited. This might have to be dying our sword moment, we'll see. Yeah, it definitely is. Definitely is. A third of our chip stack in the middle right now for us to try and take. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. King Jack. If I hadn't just been making the plays that I've been making with the shoving, I'd, I'd want to do it now. But I think because I've made some, I have to accept that my, my respect for my raises will be a little bit less. Plus the, the player coming in tends to be a bit more aggressive. Yeah, Distor. It's going to be that very, very, very soon. There's already an element of it. Oh, my goodness. Bottom pair. <laughs> Just called that. And there's now a push. Sadly, we don't wake up with a, a nice hand to try and take it. We'd also be out of position, so it would have to be a really nice hand. Not because of this, but because of everybody else. Yeah, Zetok. Um, so at, at the moment, I'm trying to deliberately single table. So I've got like always a clearer idea of where I'm at in the tournament and a better idea of what my opponents are doing. But uh, but when I was playing it as a living, yeah, I used to like anywhere between three and six table it. I used to have friends that were like 20 table, which is utterly nuts. And I used to read about people doing 40 tables and stuff. But, but yeah, I, I just do between like three and six. Yeah, exactly, as of us. Yeah, it's crazy that we're we're push folding already. People going for this one. We are very, very close now to uh, the prize pool going over the guaranteed five tickets. We've been moved table. A thousand, a thousand? What's going on there? Have I missed something? Oh, oh, it was, uh, he limped under the gun and got pushed in by sevens and then called and won by a mile. Okay. All right. Our big blind next. Wait, have we just been moved again? Uh -huh. Nine six off for our big blind to defend. Not what we were looking for. We might get to see a flop with it. We get to see a flop with it. 
And we miss. And we still I think we can shove a king here. We'd be shoving against him anyway, and I think the limp generally says worse than a king. All right, that's enough of that for now. Let's take a breather. Break in five minutes and we can see where we're at in the tournament more clearly. Right now we're 25th out of 52 coaches with five seats. Yeah, I mean, generally they pop up, but I'm the same. I actually like, yeah, in the end I ended up three tabling with them all on screen at the same time. At the highest stakes that I used to play regularly. Because, yeah, I, I preferred that, being able to, like, look around all three at the same time. Obviously, the people that like 20 table aren't clicking tabs. They're just waiting for it to say, this is your hand, play. <laughs> Sixth and seventh are now cash prizes. Oh, we get ace jack. I was actually going to make a, a more sensible raise, but I think with the limp, we're, we're in push fold territory again. Yeah, cheers, Azavas. Yeah. They're very loose passive players. I agree. I think a lot of them have satellited in from uh, spin and goes. Off onto York. We can't. Getting a ridiculously good price to top this up, but yeah, go, go on. I think we have to, but it's a horrible hand. <laughs> yeah, too good. Darn it. That's the other reason why you don't. To be fair, that's the first pre-flop raise we've seen from this coach. <laughs> Do I keep saying coaches? <laughs> yeah, that's uh, yeah, f five years of uh, of habit. They might be poker coaches. <laughs> it's not very likely, <laughs> especially based on how they're playing, <laughs> but they might be. <laughs> Sixes versus nines, and the nines hold. Oh my goodness, the blinds have just gone to 800, 1600. This is the last blind level now before the break. 
Rip it and flip it, baby. Woo! Yeah, thanks, Azabas. Yeah, I, I did remember. But yeah, appreciate you clarifying. Cause I do need that most of the time. <laughs> Slightly easier to remember from two minutes ago than it was from four minutes yesterday. Oh, the nines outdraw. Brutal. This might be the final hand. Oh. Oh. We're getting crazy prize, like really crazy prize. 1,600 into 1,300 with a, a semi-monster. Oh, and we've hit as well. Oh, okay. And that's my five-minute break, ladies and gentlemen. When we come back, the uh, the top-ups and everything will be over. And we'll be able to see how many players left in the tournament. Currently, we're 16th out of 41. We don't want to top-up, so I'm going to go make a coffee and stretch my legs. And we'll BRB for this exciting conclusion. <laughs>
How'd you even top up? Auto, there's an auto add-on that I can click. Oh, no, it'll give us the option in a moment, won't it? After the break, there'll be like a, a, a minute window or something to top up, to add on. Is that right? So, we've yeah, we've got like less than a minute of rebuys left and then it'll offer, offer add-ons. I just want to see if I could use a ticket for the add-on. I'm almost certain I don't want to add on. 10k chips. <laughs> Evening, Eldre. Great to see you. Great to see you. Is this the add-on period? There used to be like a, a chip stack. Oh, whoops. There used to be like a chip stack you could click for the add-on. <laughs> Well, maybe it's just the auto add-on because I didn't see an option in anywhere else. I wanted to see if you could do it with uh, with the ticket that we bought in for. All right, there's still just five seats. Uh, it does pay down to ninth now, though, which is nice. We're currently 16 out of 47. That is all there's going to be. All the late entries, all the rebuys are done. All the top-ups are done. The prize pool is set. Final table getting paid. Looks like it's actually going to be uh, eight-handed final tables. People not back yet. Fold's pocket deuces. Satellite play, baby. Satellite play. I love it. I love it. You got to do it. Everyone bully the player to their left. I think we'd have been favorites against pocket deuces, but I really wouldn't have liked to have flipped for it. <laughs> Salutations, Randy Clown. Woo! Uh, we pick a base 10. And we have to fold. <laughs> Draw some cards. <laughs> we really haven't. We haven't had like a single particularly good hand at all yet. I think ace jack is the best we've had. Ace eight again. Does our ace hold? Not looking lightly as the queen comes. No ace on the river, so we lose a few chips, not too many. Little out of position now for the ace eight, plus people have just seen us playing it. A quick tutorial. I'm so sorry. This game's so hectic, Nolly. But but basically, do you know how poker hands work? 
So, like, you, you get pairs and two pair beats a pair. Oh, wow. All right, we're just going to live or die by the sevens. Two pair beats a pair. Three of a kind beats two pair. A straight beats three of a kind. A flush beats a straight. A full house, which is three of a kind and a pair, beats a flush. Four of a kind beats a full house. And a straight flush beats four of a kind. The short stack goes with us. We're flipping. So far, we're good. Still good. Still good. All right. Some chips for us. Oodle Alley. That looked like he could rebuy. Or add on. That's not how add on works. <laughs> I don't understand. It said that there was only going to be 30 minutes of of rebuys. It looks like the rebuys are still on. Maybe it didn't include the break. Okay. It, I, I'm guessing it didn't include the break. We get to see a flop with our terrible, terrible big blind hand. We miss. Uh, and, and you make up your best five cards out of the two cards that you got in your hand and the five on the table. The first three come out. So there's a round of betting with no cards on the table. And then three come out. And there's another round of betting. And then another one comes out, another round of betting, and then the final one. So there's seven cards in total, and you're looking to make up your best five. Um, and, uh, and then a final round of betting after the last card. And then whoever's got the best hand. Unless everybody's folded, which is often the case, right? <laughs> the ten do's. Uh, Minray's under the gun is a bit strong for our raggy offsuit ace. Ah, here we go. It was it was half an hour of play for rebuys. So we were still rebuying. So the pot wasn't set yet. My apologies. I was wrong about that. And now people are adding on. How? How are people adding on? I can't see an option in the lobby. I can't see an option on this table. I guess I could click auto add on. I don't want to add on, by the way. I want to see if I could do it with my ticket. Oh, there's rebuy there. Is that what I have to do? Fast deposit. It's, it's weird to me that it isn't easier to add on. Ah, there we go. It says add on. Right, if I just click it, is it just going to automatically take it? No. Okay, it gives us the option. So the add-on is there instead of rebuy. And it says you can add on 10,000 chips for $5.50. So it isn't a ticket. And we're only getting 10000 for the price that we're already in for, except we satellite in for less. So it's not very good value for us right now. So we're not going to add on. So resuming in a minute, then everybody that wanted to add on will have added on. Yeah, you're right, Azamas, and I didn't know that. So thank you. Oh, nice to start. Yeah, cheers, Southfield. Thank you. Woo! My favorite poker player was Chip Reese, and then he, he passed away. That was, yeah, all, all the way through uni, I was watching anything with Chip Reese in, I could. And then, like, months, a few months after uni, he passed away. Don't know if I've had a particularly favorite player since then. I've certainly got like the players I like and the players I don't like as much, but I don't know if I've got a, a dead set favorite since Chip.
That was weird. It flashed up players are now on a break. <laughs> and then we started playing again. <laughs> I don't think that was what it meant to do. We steal from the button. Very standard satellite fare. I think having just stolen, we don't want to try again. And this time we're priced out. Nines versus Ace Queen. We'd have flushed the <laughs> we'd have flopped the flush. <laughs> we'd have flopped the flush. <gasps> oh wow, well, nines hold up. We can't bully this uh, 60k stack as easily now, unfortunately. We're currently 11th out of 30. So now, now it's set. Sorry, let's have a look at the tournament lobby. There's now six seats, and seventh is the only position to pay out. So we actually scraped over the line to get a sixth seat in. So final table is the bubble, if it's eight-handed. Eighth gets nothing. Seventh gets a small payout. And the top six get a seat on Sunday. Uh, nothing like craving chocolate. Been there a million times. Oh, nice, Thulian. Very nice. I, I need to get into some Twitch poker players. I I've been recommended one or two that I've now followed. But I've never really watched any. Got to shove this if it folds around to us. I feel like we need to shove that. This is a terrible call compared to the shove. Yeah, this was obvious. I, I had to be forcing that. And now he'll go. He's done this before as well. How to throw away 1,500 chips. Well, this we can shove. Maybe not anymore. Yeah, go on. Is it a trap? Feels like it might be a trap. Oh, well, I'm very, very happy to split. <laughs> I will take half of that. Thank you very much. Big stack's getting real big now. My word, 2,400, it's outrageous. It's actually outrageous. I honestly, yeah, I, I need to get a bit more accustomed to these hyper turbos. So what's the pot before anyone puts anything in? It's nearly 10,000. Oh, there's no small blind. The small blind's all in. Called me. We flopped a monster. And we take it.
Currently ninth out of 23. And we've got to lay that down. Oh my word, look at this stack! <laughs> 235! Oh my word, well, we've just got to have it. We've just got to have it if we're going to shove it now. What a shame. What a shame that we've been sat to the right of 2,000... 250,000 stack. That's so crazy. How did they even get that? Oh no, don't say that, Thulian. <laughs> I can see myself being the same as you. <laughs> so if you don't like Spraggy, <laughs> I'm worried that I won't like Spraggy. At some point, we're going to have to still play. We're not folding this down to the money. Ace four in the hijack. Well, that's an easy fold then. That's the first pot they've raised. <laughs> We've played them a lot in this tournament. We've been sat with them a lot. <laughs> They've done a lot of calling. That's their very first raise. Easiest fold of our life. Oh, we're out of position with that. Otherwise, we'd love it. If we were more desperate or in better position, we'd love it. But unfortunately, the combination of neither makes us lay it down. Oh! Oh! Look at this dent in our stack, man. What even is this? No. You gotta try and survive by pushing. And now, somebody's sitting out. Alright, they're not sitting out now. We picked up an ace in the small. We are easily getting to the point where we're desperate. They will limp. They always limp. <laughs> no, beautiful. Ace in the small. Easiest push of our life, even against the big stack. And we take it. Thank flip. Some would say we'd have to push this as well, to be honest. <laughs> top 20, here we go. Unfortunately, the only thing that counts is top 7, and what we really, really want is top 6. Blind's going up to an outrageous 4,000, 8,000. As we get a, a bit of a monster at this point. <laughs> nice to see the big stack fold. Very, very nice. Oh! Oh, what a call! Oh my word, are they gonna flush? They get the flush! <laughs> Poor Brune! Brune sat there like, what just happened? And now Brune's gonna defend our big blind for us. No, he doesn't go in! Oh no, I'm getting bullied off this! <laughs> oh, darn it. The least aggressive player at the table. Steals our blind. Ooh. We 
No! Yes! No! We- What? Oh, yeah, we got counterfeit. We got counterfeit and took the side part. <laughs> That's crazy. Currently 10th or 11th now, sorry. Semi-monster. Considering cutoff and the situation we're in, it's a monster. It holds up reasonably well against a lot of stacks calling us. Oh boy. The, uh, the big blind wakes up with a better hand <laughs> and we are suddenly a bit horribly short stacked. Uh, we're down to the final two tables, which is why this is filled out. And we are 11th out of 16 and really, really, really struggling chips-wise. Yeah, the 250k stack should probably fold down. So definitely a case for they might be able to fold down to 6th from that. There's also another stack on the other table, very, very similar. And then a couple of 100k stacks. It's crazy. Like, well over 100k. Oh, what would give for a monster about now? Problem is, if I don't push this... If I don't push this, I'm not going to have enough chips by the time the big blind passes me to get anybody to fold ever. So I have to push something now. That puts us up to eighth. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. I tell you now, from fifth down to 16th, everybody's on like the same stack effectively. <laughs> Then above that, there's like four monsters. It's really weird, right, Forster? It's not like cash, where, like, in, in satellites, there's so much value in just staying in. You, you, you almost always want to try and just get everybody else to fold rather than actually racing. What's a blind Mordred? It's the, it's these mandatory bets. So there's a big one and a small one, and it goes around the table clockwise. So they're about to hit us and, and force us to be in a pot for a nasty amount of our chips. It's what causes the action to happen. Otherwise, nobody would bother playing a hand until they got aces. Satellite tournaments are like the one type of tournament where it's it could be the right play to fold aces. I think... Oh, yeah. So I'm hoping this is a fold and then the button goes all in and that's the easiest call of our life. Come on, baby. Come on. No! Isolates! What? Get out of town. Oh, okay. We were actually dominated by both hands. So, uh, I guess we got saved some chips. Why not shove? <laughs> like, you can't fold if people come back in over the top. So why not shove? We're in a very bad spot stack size now because we're struggling to get people to fold.
Yeah, like he just has to call any two cards, basically. We got an ace. Oh, we're getting isolated. That means we're looking for the ace. And we hit it. Actually, not sure I love that play by the fives in a satellite tournament. It's a bit loosey-goosey. And that jumps us to seven out of 14. These satellites are so... <laughs> So nuts. They really are. Look at this. Spade? Not a spade. Alright, we lost another player. We're down to 13. If we lose five more, we're down to the final table. Lucky. There's three small stacks right now. That doesn't help us very much. Smaller than us. And one of them looks like they're going out. Were they even one of the small stacks? Oh, they win. Okay, so now we have a true, truly small stack. Which sort of defends our big blind in a nice kind of a way. No. Raises us. Darn it, if I call this and lose, I'm getting insane odds to call. Then I, I can't push myself if I call this and lose. I need to know what the situation is here, whether I should be calling this. So I'd have, I'd have won the side pot, so I guess I wish I had. He had about the, the only hand that he could have had that was worse than ours. Uh, now, now we're in a terrible spot again, so... I don't know. Maybe we had to go in there. Six out of nine, we're about to final table. Oh, semi-monster against a blind that we could actually go for. This guy's got to pick this handle next. Goes for this one. I could push over the top. Oh, well, they've done it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, set of sevens, sadly. Unless the straight hits, it doesn't. We can actually bluff this one. We can actually bluff this one. And if they wake up with a, like, ace-king or low pocket pair, we've actually got a hand that races reasonably well. Woohoohoo! What a steal! Final table! Oh my word, final table, and we're sixth! <laughs> and there's six seats! <gasps> oh my goodness! Please call, please call, you've been so loose. Please call. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh my word, Ace King suited! I'm defending. I I'm prepared to go out right. Like we we're, we're going to we're going to end up 7th if I'm not careful anyway. This is our chance to actually 
end top six. It's by far the best hand we've had the entire tournament. Hits the 10. We need a queen. And we bubble. <laughs> and we bubble. Oof. 